All right, I'm going to show you three quick scriptures disproving the Catholic false doctrine of papal infallibility and showing that only God is infallible. Let's get right into it. First, turn to Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Okay, God is not a man that he should lie. God cannot lie. God is infallible. But guess what? Men are fallible. Men are liars. God is not a man. And of course, this is the verse that Muslims like to use to try to disprove Jesus Christ being God, which is totally uh, contorting what the verse is saying. Simply saying that, God does not lie because simply men are liars. That's all it's really, that's, when you get down to that, that's what it's saying. But side issue. But God is not a man that he should lie because men are liars. God is infallible. Men are not. And it doesn't. And the Pope and the cardinals and the priests are not any kind of exception to that. Next, turn to 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 29. And also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he should repent. Okay? Repeating, uh, basically identical to what is written in Numbers 23 verse 19. Because God is not a man. And why? Because he doesn't lie. Okay? Men are liars. And again, it's not disproving the fact that Jesus Christ is God. Okay? Again, uh, contorting what the verses are saying there to all the Muslims out there. But God does not lie. He is infallible but men are fallible, okay? Last scripture I'm going to go to, Romans chapter 3 and verse 4. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, let God be true and every man a liar. Okay, let God be true and let the Pope, let the Cardinals, let the priest, let the Bishop, let them all be liars, but let God be true. Okay, God does not grant any human being infallibility. God cannot lie, but men are, are liars. Men are fallible. Okay, the Catholic doctrine of papal infallibility is a false doctrine. Okay, which proves that the Catholic Church is fallible because they contorted this false doctrine that is blatantly and easily refuted by these three simple verses. God is not a man that he should lie. God cannot lie, but men are liars. That's simple. That's what those verses are saying there. So don't be deceived by the false doctrine of papal infallibility. And, and don't be deceived by anyone, really, and if they're Catholic or not, claiming they're infallible. Nobody is infallible. If someone thinks they're infallible, they, got a, they, want, they might want to check that pride of theirs because they got a lot of it if they think they're just never wrong on anything. And they also want to check that kind of cult-like mentality they have, too, because people who are cultic, you know, have a cult-like mentality. They don't like it when you question them. So... Anyone, like really just anyone who thinks they're infallible, not just the Pope, is pretty much condemned by these three different scriptures. So don't be deceived by the false doctrine of papal infallibility, and don't be deceived by anyone who thinks they're infallible. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.